Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at using Tailwind in Lit Elements, which is a little bit nuanced because you kind of want to get those styles into this property here. I've got this, I've got this simple element here, but you want to get your Tailwind properties into this static styles properties because that uses constructible style sheets, which means no duplication of those styles if you've got multiple uh, instances of your component on a page so that's kind of the way to go you know you could potentially come in here and do a, a link uh, href and give that your um, your tail in CSS you know that that would work but then you'd get multiple copies of it so that's not really the way to go there um, another way you could do it, I think there is a post CSS plugin to do, but then if you haven't got build chain or you don't want to use post CSS, post CSS uh, then that one's out as well. So um, with the approach that I've got here, what we're going to do is set up Tailwind as normal um, and then install a package called TWLit, which looks at the output from Tailwind, creates a JavaScript version, um, a tag template literal in JavaScript, which we can then import. Um, and you can simply then just include that in the styles there. Uh, and we can have this running in the background so that it's nice and um, responsive. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, before we do, though, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click subscribe below. You'll get updates for future videos. Okay, um, right. We need to set up. So I've got this, I've got this simple um, lit element here that's just putting out the text. This is my element. We can see it running up here uh, I'm gonna uh, add in Tailwind now if you know how to start set up Tailwind you can just skip this little bit here um, okay so what do we need we need a Tailwind um, a Tailwind file that specifies which parts of Tailwind we're gonna use so we're gonna use base and we're gonna use utilities like that and um, I've already got Tailwind NPM installed. I need to create a Tailwind config. So let's do npx Tailwind CSS init. That should create a config file for us down here. Oh, it already exists. Okay, I've done that before. Um, Tailwind config. So in here, we just need to specify which files Tailwind will scan to look for the classes it's got to generate. So we're just saying that all TypeScript files, which will grab our element here. Um, so it will be looking for things like this here and it will create the output for that. So we want that to run constantly. So what I'm gonna do is add it into my package.json. Um, and I'm gonna do use it with concurrently so that we can run our JavaScript package as well. Right, so let's have a dev script in here and we're going to call concurrently and that is going to run, uh, first of all, Tailwind. So it's going to run Tailwind CSS with an input of the file that we just created, that um, Tailwind lib.css and it's going to output a file uh, just called uh, TWCSS. Okay, and we want that to constantly run. So we'll put a watch on that. And oops, like so. Okay, now at the same time, we want this new package that we're going to install, install TWLit to run as well. So let's do TWLit. Now this takes an input and output as well. The input is the output from Tailwind. So this is going to be tw.css. So let's have an input here of tw.css. And it's going to output a JavaScript version. Um, so we have an output. And that will be, um, let's do tw.js. OK. And that should, uh, that needs to be a backslash. These need to be backslashes. So, backslash, I don't want too many there. All right, so we've got two things running. We've got the standard um, Tailwind generation tool, uh, this part here, and then we've got the JavaScript uh, version here, to, well, the conversion, JavaScript conversion tool, TWLit here, and both of those running at the same time. Alrighty, uh, I'll need to install, have I installed that yet? I need to install um, 
Let's go in here. I need to install TWLit. Um, oops, npm install TWLit. Okay, I've broken, I have broken my jobs. Broken this, probably on concurrently here. Um, Save that off, it might just been again. Cool, okay, so we've got TW lit installed as well now. Okay, um, can I run that now? I can probably run that now. So let's do npm run, run dev. So this should create a Tailwind file for us and then a JavaScript file. Um, okay, so yeah, twlit wrote to tw.js. So this tw.css, this is the standard output from Tailwind. And you can see these are the, the flex and the flex row are the, the ones that we've added in here. So it's detected those, added them into that output. Now we can't use that within lit element, but we can use a JavaScript version where we export um, a tag template literal with CSS. So all TW lit is doing is, is grabbing everything in, in TW.CSS uh, and wrapping it in this guy here. Now what that means is I can come into my element and I can import that. So I can import TW styles um, and that's from what are we TW.JS like so, and then we can just grab that and for styles, we can actually just give it an array. So we can keep some standard styles there as well, but we can also then add ours in like so. And that means it should be included in there. Um, so if we look on here, um, this just needs a reload. I just need to reload tailwind let's try that sorry parcel let's do parcel index.html okay so that's fine refresh there and i think because 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 oh i've got a i've got an error somewhere Uh, but, but can I read properties of undefined reading style sheet? Have I named this correctly? Let's have a look at tw.js, tw styles, and tw styles. Did I have that? I think I had a typo there. I think I just had a capitalization there. All right, so now it should be importing it better. Yeah, that looks better. I can get rid of that guy. So here's our element. Uh, now, with this in place, I should be able to add in here and it should automatically pick up new Tailwind, tailwind classes. So um, let's do um, like BG Red 500. So if we save that off um, and we look in Tailwind, we can see it's added that in there and it will be in our JavaScript file as well if I scroll down there. Uh, and because it's in the JavaScript file, it's in here, which means it's in here, which means when I come in here and refresh, it should have picked it up. Um, why is it not picked it up? definitely imported it's definitely there um, is it just is it a refresh issue if we look at this element um, yeah it hasn't it hasn't refreshed it let me restart parcel again OK, 
Come in here again. No, parcel isn't recognizing this. What about if we did font, what was it, text, bold, should all be in there. Okay, so now it's updated. So I have the parcel there, just not quite updating. So more of a parcel issue, I think. Normally that is fine, uh, but you can see our element now is bold and has got a red background. You know, has it, is it, has it, has it clicked in now? If I take that off and save, and then come back in. Okay, now it's updating there. And let's do BG blue 500. Okay, now it's updated. Now it's kicked in. Okay, so just a little pastel uh, issue. But okay, so those classes that we add in um, in our lit element are being picked up by Tailwind and coming out in Tailwind.css. And then that's being picked up by TW lit um, and putting it into JavaScript. And that is then getting pulled in correctly as lit element would like inside the static styles, which is the constructible style sheet part. Uh, okay, there you go. So hope that was interesting. Uh, thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, thumbs down is not. But thanks very much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.